Okay, that's awesome. So we have two trees that we can map. It's like maybe a third one over there. Oh, stomach ache. But that looks like it's clay. Tegu, that's the uh, lizard. Long sticks here. Termite mounds. Okay, there's a lot of cool stuff. There are long sticks just laying on the ground. Getting the agave for the footprints. Kinds of goodies. Clay. One piece of clay. <sighs> so we need to come back with a shovel. What I really need, really, really, really need, is a piece of copper. Tegu hide. And I got sticks so I can make a fire. I might have to just bite the bullet and head back <laughs> until I can uh, get myself in a little bit of a better state. distiller so I have to have food collect salt water from the sea in any container for fluids hey we have some salt now this has clean water fish, dried meat. So sea salt is going to be a big one. It's going to take one day for the dates. 
is the improved version, you don't need both. You, you only need the one. There, we got a perk point. I'm gonna go with thirst control. A moonshine still. All right, so I definitely need to find the renewable clay resource. There is one, and it's on um, Copper Island, where I was. Hollow log. That needs the copper ingot. Copper tank. Tegu skin flask. And that carries 40 units of water. So that would be way better. But again, I need a fired pot. I need an excellent tanner workbench. All right, well, let's put down a foundation. Oh, I need a hammer. So I think this is where I want to set up. Building house modules. Equipped hammer tool is required. There we go. Now will you let me do it? Your mighty hammer. Hammer needed for installing, upgrading, moving, and demolishing modules. Equipped. You act without a hammer, you cannot interact with modules. Okay. Alright, I like the snapping. That works really good. Three leaves. Oh my gosh, we can upgrade this thing. Alright, we're going to upgrade our raft. Repair the ship before upgrading. All right, improved ship repair kit. So we got a protected box, better bed, and log storage. So those are good for 69.4 days. And now they're good for 139. And they restore 35 food and 10 water. Um, yeah, this is power food. I'd like to know what it takes to make another dryer. Oh wait, there's the two compartment food dryer. Yeah, that's what I need to look into. That way, when I set sail again, I'll have better raft, food, water. Eight long sticks. So I think that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be putting extra flasks, drying as many dates as I can. Um, just making sure that I've got plenty to get me by. Oh, bamboo stick and cattail. Bamboo stick, cattail, that's what I needed it for. Right, we're getting our foundation done. And what's the barrel do? Static container to hold liquid. Prevents liquid loss from evaporation. And it can hold 20 units. Half log and hollow log. Oh, we're going to make that.
Oh, and of course, I built all this water stuff, and now it's going to rain, like, all the time. Dried fish in here is 114 days, and here, 229 days. I'm feeling pretty good about all this. Okay, when I come back, we're going to uh, sail back off to Copper Island. Okay, so I'm hurting pretty good. Um, it's almost nighttime though. What I really like to do is heal up a bit. Yeah, those lizards are really taking a toll on me. If I have to, I can use some life water. So I've been going up this path over here. I'm going to go down a little bit further and see if I can't get... I really want the copper. As, as my whole purpose of being here is for the copper. Okay, so we do have something over there. There's a lizard. I'm just going to have to take this dude on. Oh, darn it. Okay, dokey. Um, another stupid lizard. Yeah, maybe I can get around him. Oh my gosh, I hate those guys so stinking much. That's a Jaguar, and I think that's the copper mine. We're going to do it. I have to try to get that... Jaguar. Alright, I see him. I'm come for the copper. Wooden spear broke. No, 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 no.
I did it! I killed the I killed the jaguar. Oh man. Oh darn it. I really hate those guys. Oh we're gonna drink some water. Think these are long sticks? Nope. Gah! Oh, ho, 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 ho. They freak me out, man. Oh. Right, I want to harvest the jaguar. I worked very hard to kill. And I want to get some copper. I don't know what it is about those lizards that freak me out so bad. I think it's how they like hiss when they lunge at you. Like it always like shocks me. Copper. So I think this is a place I'm supposed to come to later. Ooh, we got another book. Map of Copper Island. The storm took the lives of many members of the San Cristobal crew, including the captain. But the ship reached the final destination of the expedition. Instead of the island, the sailors found an impassable chain of rocks and dangerous currents. They called it the B-mini belt. After unsuccessful attempts to pass the B-mini belt, the ship was badly damaged and in need of urgent repairs. First mate Fernan, who had become the new leader, decided to stop near one of the large islands. Fernan organized the construction of a temporary camp there in order to find resources to repair the San Cristobal as well as to search for other survivors who could be on the islands nearby. A few days later, the survivors arrived themselves. Juan Ponce de Leon was accompanied by sailors from the Santa Maria. Once again, the commander encouraged his comrades in the success of the expedition. During the assembly, Fernand showed pieces of copper ore that had been found on the island. If enough copper could be found, it was possible to repair and strengthen the San Cristobal and continue the expedition. The crew decided to go in search of copper ore deposits. The next morning, Fernand Delgado and Juan Ponce de Leon as the most experienced explorers left the camp. 
All right. I don't want to get too far too far out of whack here. So I think I should take the copper that I have. Well, I'm gonna drink a little bit of water. Drop off this copper. Anything else I can to get my weight down. Book, pyrite. Copper, Jaguar High, Jaguar Tendons. Probably want some more clay from those termite mounds. I'm going to fill up the weight that I have available with copper. And hopefully I'll have enough. enough of my levels to uh, sail back home and then I'm gonna equip this boat with the ability to build a dock then I can just put a dock like right here that would make it a lot easier to get back and forth between the islands yeah, that's all my pickaxe has too Oh, minor cut's gone. Sweet. Pretty sure there's a bed up here on the top of this tree. So maybe I'll do my sleeping up there. I should get me home. I'm going to grab a little bit more clay before I leave out of the termite mounds. needs a copper tank and that needs a copper ingot so I'm gonna have to make the smelter first just a couple of quick updates I'm back on Copper Island I've built a bunch of stuff at home but right now I want to build my Copper Island dock so we're gonna place that resources and build. Boom, we have a perk point. Two perk points obtained. And I should be able to. And there we go. I don't have my pick with me. Um, I literally just came here to build this dock so we can see what we've got. We have three perk points now. We could use this. Highlights poisonous animals. Um, I think hung hunger control too. We want to learn that. There we go. And so that's for buffalo, snake, and jaguar potion. I'm not really worried about the alchemy yet, so I think I'm gonna resist poisons. There we go. So we spent up our stuff. So I really am thinking about going to the Santa Maria here. Sailing over to that first. I have food. I have water. So I should be able to head out over there. And now I'll be able to go right from one dock to the other. So that'll quickly get me back to Copper Island. Copper Island is where I can get clay, renewable copper. So it's definitely a great, uh, great location for me to have. Can I sail to the other point? 
I still got a whole lot of mapping I need to do, so there's a lot of a lot of that I need to work on. Check and see if we're pointed at it. Right, so it's going to be to the left. So that's got to be the Santa Maria location right up there. Because I've been getting a little ahead of myself, and I, I think if I follow the journal better that I'm going to have an easier time getting through stuff. Definitely need to repair this thing. It's at $29.79. So we're getting, we're getting closer to being halfway through our durability. I'm going to focus on getting back and building a ship repair kit. And I'm hoping that the more that I sail, the better I get at holding the durability on these. I can see a structure on top of that island over there. But I, um, I'm excited to explore the rest of these islands too. And I'm thinking that if I just go through the quest line, that it's going to naturally take me to these places. I've got to find a way up. That looks like it's it right there. I did do some swimming and I was able to find some uh, water resources. Okay, this is cool. You got all kinds of cool stuff here. What is that one? Unlocks uh, sailing. Cool. That would be good. Barrel of an old cannon. Wood chips. Iron rod. Looks like everything else is down into the ship. Use the captain's cabin to unlock. Search for the ship key. Use iron rod to unlock. Okay, there we go. Flint. Scrap. Cannonball. Oh, 
But I'm not sure what to do with the wood chips. Gunpowder. So we're going to have to shoot this cannon, I bet. Get the barrel. So we get a lot of uh, thread. Uh, night. set of tools so I went to the uh, first wreck um, there on the island of hope and I found a set of tools got to include that all right we got the ship key logbook of the Santa Maria Marine binoculars. Captain of Santa Maria and his mate are killed. It looks like the killer took them by surprise. But who? Who could have done such a thing? And, most importantly, why? On the table, there is the Santa Maria's logbook. Stained with blood. Apparently the killer looked into it. I must examine it at once. Most of the supplies have been ruined. I stand such frequent firing and broke. That's by our cannon signals. Still nothing heard from the cannoneer. And the cook who left to scout the islands. Screw themselves. See another lifeboat on the horizon heading our way. This could either could be either of our scouts or another survivor. Find the copper mine. So there's that camp that we were in. So I'm pretty sure this is the copper mine we've already been to. So we just have to go back. Cool. I think we got everything. So I think I'm going to sleep in the captain's quarters. Just to refuel myself. go we got plenty of food and water on our raft although I must have already gotten dragon fruit 